I don't often sniff them. I'm not going to go, oh, I can get some citrusy notes through my nose. I ain't going to say that. What I'm going to say is, cheers, perfect drafters. Let's have a sup. Well, hello there, perfect drafters. How we doing? Are we good? Good. Don't tell the missus, but I've got a blonde in the bar. I have. I've got a blonde in the bar. I've got a blonde keg. She's a brunette. It's a Belgian blonde. And I've got to say, I am looking forward to this one. Because it's been a while since I've had a stronger ale. Yes, it has. I mean, I'm going to be pouring it in a left glass. And I can't remember the last time I had a left. Left Blonde is an absolute beauty. So I've done a review of that. Check that out. I've done a review of La Trap as well. And that was an absolute beauty as well. Those two kegs, they're very popular on the Perfect Draft. And if you try them, you will see why. So when this one came out, and it is one of the newer kegs, it was another challenger to the Blonde Crown. So this is the St. Frulian. And it's coming in at 7%. I like how people say coming in at. It's like the coming in the door. You know, big old 7% sign coming in the door. I'm coming in. I'm 7%. Anyway. So this is the St. Frulian. It is 7%. It's a strong Belgium blonde ale. And it ain't cheap. <laughs> so you do sometimes see them on a short date keg release. And as I speak... As I'm recording this, and it is a Tuesday, the video will go out on a Friday, there is a short date special on there. But even though that's the case, we're talking about £38.61 for a short date keg. <laughs> now a short date, that will mean it's got below six weeks. That's what you've got to be expecting. Sometimes you might be lucky and you'll have a bit more. But generally, that's what you've got to expect. Now, with perfect draft kegs, don't worry about it too much. If it goes over that best before date, that's exactly what it is. It's a best before date. You can drink them a long old time after that. I'm not going to say how many days after that you could drink it by, because that would put me liable to making you potentially ill. But if you are bad with it, you're probably just going to visit the loo quite a few times the next day. You know, it's like having a curry. Have a curry and a short date keg. You could be sat on the throne literally all day. It's been known. On the throne. So if you was to pay full price for this little beauty, it's £42.90. Yeah, it's one of the most expensive kegs on this little beauty here. And those are the two that I mentioned. So the left blonde. That's a 6.6 percenter, and that costs you £36.90. Now, that is a good keg. It's got that left twang, as all the left range does. So that, you have to bear in mind. If you don't like that, then you probably want to go for this. Maybe, if it's any good, I'll let you know. Or a La Trap. Now, that La Trap is a 6.5 percenter, and that is equal to this on price at £42.90. So, I am looking for it to be equally as good as that and again i have done a review of that check it out so let's have a little look at what i thought you can see how i've aged when we look at some of these videos this is what i thought of the left blonde good um, i'll grade it now before going in for the snackage i'm gonna say for that i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it an 8.5 yeah it's a strong one. it's a strong 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 beer. Nice. Good work, Lefe. So there we go. And this is what I thought of the La Trap. What am I giving it? I'm giving that... I'm going to give it a nine. Yeah. The only thing that would make that better is if Isla Fisher was sipping it with me. That is a beauty. It's a belter. So there we go, people. Not ones that I didn't like. I enjoyed them. And that's why I am smiling like a Cheshire. Those pussy pussy cat Cheshires 
at the fact I've got a blonde in this machine. I've got a left blaster in there. So it's meant to pour a deep golden colour. It's meant to have aromatic hops and citrusy, fruity notes. It's meant to have plenty of spice. It's meant to be a classic Belgium ale. And it's meant to have a sweet candy-like aroma. That's what they're telling us. It is going to be one of the first kegs that I try at slightly more than that three degrees. Because this little beauty is sitting at six. That's what that's sitting at. So let's have a look at the keg. Let's do the pour. Let's bring it in. See if there's any bubs. Generally, you won't get bubs with a Belgium ale. Not many anyway. Not many. I'll have some snackage. I'll have a supper dupper do again. Yeah, I'll have a snacky snack snack. And then basically I'll let you know what I think to both of them. Let's have a look at that keg first, people. So there is the keg, people. St. Frulian. That's it. Um, Anno 1125. Yeah. 7%er. Six litre perfect draft keg. These kind of wraps around the keg there. Pretty standard really with new kegs or newish kegs like this. Got a crest there. Got a blue crest. Some gold swords. Yeah, that's about it really, isn't it? Blonde, it's blonde. Abbey, Abbey beer, blonde. Let's get a poured. All right then, people, here we go. Like I say, it's going in the left glass. And one thing I have said with this glass in the past is that you do struggle to get a bad pour into it. So the pressure's on. I'm going to do that because I don't want people that fast forward my videos, the cheek of it, to this point, think that I've got a left. I haven't. Let's go. This is a St. Fruity and Blonde being poured. Not looking bad, not looking bad. Let's bring her in. So there we go, people, there we go. I was a little bit shy of the top of the head. Not a very big foamy head. And it does say on the spiel that it keeps its head going down. I'm not sure that's gonna. Like I say, can't see many bubs in that. Can't see many bubs at all. But generally you won't get it with these stronger Belgian males. Right, it's a nice deep golden color though. They ain't wrong there, they're not wrong. Let's see what it tastes like, people. There we go, there's the pour. It's sitting there, it's winking at me. I'll tell you what, as I poured that, I could almost smell the alcohol, I really could. Yeah, I don't often sniff them. I'm not gonna go, oh, I can get some citrusy notes through my nose. I ain't gonna say that. What I'm gonna say is, Cheers, perfect drafters. Let's have a sup. Yeah, yeah. You can taste the 7%. You can. There's no doubt about that. And maybe, you know, I've had a fair few lagers. I've had a few, you know, lower strength kind of wheat beers and things like that recently. And maybe that's why that's striking me as the very first thing. Because you sup that and you're like, yeah. You get that warmth, the warmth of that alcohol in there. And that, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just, is it overpowering? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. The carbonation levels are kind of lowish. There's not many bubs to it. Mouth feels good enough though. Yeah, and there is that citrusness to it. Citrusness. There is a bit of a citrus taste to it. Not an awful lot. Not like you'd be banging into an IPA, you know, and then think that has got lemons and grapefruit and everything firing in my face. It's not like that. But it's there. It's subtle, I would say. Um, spices, yeah. There's some spices in there. The candy caramel 
kind of flavour. No, I'm not getting that. It's pleasant. I would say it's pleasant. It's a good, nice, solid, blonde beer. I'm not sure it's a La Trappe. And I like the left twang. So actually, I really like that left blonde. Yeah. And I'm going to have some snackage because sometimes that, you know, changes the old palette a little bit. Gives you a fresh look on it. I'm not going to grade it yet, but as it stands, it's definitely in third place below those other two. And at £42.90, was it £42.90 or £43.90? Whatever it is, that's an expensive keg. Right, let me crack into some snackage. Right, here we go. So, Darren Bonner on Instagram, he messaged me on the old Insta, and he went, look, Baldy, what you want to try is some Budweiser nuts. I know you've been into home bargains before. You don't just shop at Tesco's. So get yourself in there and get yourself some Budweiser crispy coated peanuts. And he did specifically say, go for the flame grilled rib flavour, of which I've done. Great with beer, apparently. Right, any blurbage on the back? Budweiser's Beechwood ageing produces a taste, a smoothness, and a drinkability you will find in no other beer. It's basically promoting their beer on a bag of nuts. Perfect to enjoy with these crispy coated nuts. They're cross-selling. Flame grilled, rib flavour, crispy coated peanuts. Any more blurb? No. Basically, all they've done is try to sell the beer with me nuts. They've not told me if these nuts are special in any way. But, let's crack in. Right. Bit of a poor tear there. Bit of a poor tear. Anyway. Let's have a sniff. Ooh. I tell you what, they smell all right. They do smell pretty good. I've done it again. I've opened the bag without giving it a shake. Right. Now, Darren, he said to me that he was licking his fingers for a week after trying these nuts. So, I'll give them a go. I want to get a few in. There we go. There's a nice little grab. Well, oh, one spilled out. Get back in there, you little monkey. Right. We've got a seven palm grab of nuts. And they are smelling good. Let's have a go. Mm. Hello there, nuts. Oh. I'll tell you what, he ain't wrong. Good nuts. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Let's lick those fingers. Finger licking good. I'll tell you what, they're nice. Very crispy. Nice crispy outer to those nuts. And the coating, that flame grilled rib kind of coating. That's a pleasure. Not spicy. They don't pretend to be. They're not spicy, but they are a very nice rib flavour. Really good. And I can see what he means by licking those fingers because those, those put a nice delicate coating of those spices all over your fingers for you to lick them off. They're nice. Good. I mean, the coating is very similar to that kind of Max Strong crispy coated peanuts. Very close to the... Um, to the sensations, crispy coated peanuts. But that flavouring is lovely. They haven't said we're spicy nuts, they're not. They're just good nuts. 
nice flavour. There are three flavours. I think they were £1.25 a bag. Um, and the others are kind of chicken flavour. I think it's like a roast chicken type flavour. None of them I don't think are spicy, which is a shame. Maybe they should try spicy coated nuts because I think they'll nail it. Right, let's get back into this. You see, I tell you what, snackage with a beer, it really does help. It really does. I can hardly ever have a beer now without snackage. Which is bad. Right. I've made my mind up. I'm a little bit disappointed with it. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not. I think I was just overlooking forward to a Belgian blonde. You know. And it's not an awful drink. It's really not. But it's not as good as La Trappe. And I don't think it's as good as the Left Blonde. I've not had the Quack Blonde. So that might be another contender. You can't compare kind of these blonde beers to a lager or to a stout or to an IPA. You can't. That's why I'm bringing in those other blonde ales. And it is an expensive one. Personally, I would not buy that again. I just wouldn't. I'm still going to enjoy that keg. Do not get me wrong. That keg will go down and I'll enjoy every last sup. If you was going to say, Boldy, do you want a St. Frulian Blonde in your perfect draft? Or do you want a Bud Light? Or do you want a Tenants? Or do you want a Golden Goose Lager? Or do you want a Goose Midway, even? IPA. I would say I'll have that. Because for me, I enjoy these beers even more than those that I've just said. And you can't compare. They're different types of beer. But I would definitely buy the La Trappe and the Left Blonde over that. That's what I'd do. Worth a plump on a short date to see what you think. Like I say, that's on there. So if you are running low on your kegs and you want to try this beer, have a look and have a look quick because like I say, it is below that £40 mark. I think I said £38.20 or something like that. That's worth a go. It's worth a blast. But personally, yeah. I wouldn't be paying £42.50 or whatever it is um, again for that keg. Still, that's life. These, these little beauties. I mean, look, there's not much clingage to the glass and stuff either, is there? There's not much clingage to the glass. And that head has really dropped off. And I've also got a bit of a wobbly bar there. These, though... Yes, the £1.25, but that's a, that's a 150 gram bag. It's rammed. It's rammed. And I'm going to ram a few more down. They didn't have to be anything to do with Budweiser, really. But, you know, just makes you think it's more of a beer snack. Those, though, I am going to say they are quality. They are really nice nuts. First up, let's grade this little beauty. So I'm putting it in third place there. I'm going to give that a 6.5. For a blonde Belgium ale, that's what I'm giving it, 6.5. Those, those Budweiser flame grilled rib, crispy coated peanuts, I'm giving them an 8. That's a strong 8 as well. Strong 8 for the nuts. Right, people. If you enjoyed that video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel for more perfect draft reviews. But for now, people, whatever you're doing this weekend, make it an absolute beauty. Make it a belter. Enjoy some beers with some mates. Have an absolute beauty of a weekend, perfect drafters. But for now, cheers. Have a good one. Cheers.